Today, I will show you how to set up a GDPR, General Data Protection Regulation, compliant opt-in page. Essentially, we'll create a checkbox where individuals can consent to being on your email list before they subscribe. Please remember this is not legal advice. For any legal concerns, consult a legal professional. Now, let's jump in. Step 1. Creating a new funnel. Go to Create, then click on Build Audience. For example, you can name it GDPR Compliance Checkbox but feel free to choose a title that suits your needs. Once you're done, click Save. Step 2. Choosing a Funnel Template. We'll choose a simple funnel template as an example. Select a template that suits your aesthetic preference and matches the nature of your content. Step 3. Editing the page. Click on Edit Page to access the Site Builder or what System.io calls the Editor page. Step 4. Understanding Form Input. Form Input is a type of element in System.io that collects data including first names, last names, emails, and zip codes. But it's not where we add the checkbox. Step 5. Adding the checkbox. Scroll down to find the checkbox option. Position the checkbox where you need it on your page. Click on the checkbox to adjust its settings. Step 6. Configuring the checkbox. Here, type in the message users will see if they fail to tick the checkbox, for example, please tick this checkbox to proceed. Step 7. Customization and dual checkbox. Next, change the color and wording until you're happy with how it looks. You might want one box to say, I would like to receive future emails with tips and promotions, for example. Then, duplicate this checkbox for the GDPR compliance agreement and phrase it as, I agree to the GDPR terms and conditions. Step 8. Adding the link. Around the terms and conditions wording, add a hyperlink to your terms and conditions URL. Make sure the URL opens in a new tab. Step 9. Finalizing and saving. Once everything is set and looks the way you want it, hit save. Step 10. Preview and test. Test your progress by clicking Preview. Enter dummy data and tick if the error prompts appear correctly when you fail to tick the GDPR box. Make any necessary tweaks as required, then save your changes. You've successfully set up a GDPR-compliant form on System.io.